Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Ikoria is a few days away, so we are brewing some decks to play at the early streamer event on Wednesday. I'll be streaming from about 1 p.m. Eastern onwards, so swing by if you can. Um, so these are all proof of concept, best of one decks to play for the tournament, uh, playing around some of the themes. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions, comments, decks you'd like to see. Do have a community page on YouTube if you have any suggestions or decks you uh, want to see played. Going to try to play some uh, viewer decks as well, time permitting. Um, so this one here is a blue-white flyers deck. Um, so kind of playing with the theme. We saw a bit of that early uh, when M20 came out with Imperion Eagle being uh, spoiled. Um, so basically what we're trying to do is play a bunch of cheap flyers, get the Anthem, get Safara out, uh, and then protect our creatures in a kind of tempo-y shell. Um, so we have Fairy Miscreant. Uh, draws a card if you control another Fairy Miscreant, so it just kind of cycles for there. Uh, we have Healer Hawk as well as a one drop and Spectral Sailor. So that kind of rounds up your, you have 12 one drops that come in early. Um, Fight as one is a new card. It's basically kind of like a pseudo dive down. It doesn't get around exile or bounce, um, but it does allow us to gain indestructible to target a uh, non-human creature we control. And it also gets a pump. Um, so it's kind of a combo trick, but also protects some of our key pieces. Uh, Sky, Sat so Sky Cat Sovereign is a new card. It gets plus one one for each other creature you control flying. So this is something good to protect with fight as one. And then for four mana, you can pump out tokens with it. So this is a elemental cat. Uh, Brazen Borer, Tempo Bounce, and a Flyer. There's a lot of elements that we can play at instant speed with the deck as well, which is nice. So you can kind of play a tempo-y control aggro deck. Um, Imperion Eagle gives all our other flyers one one. So it's kind of an anthem. We have a couple hanged executioners, gives you two bodies for three mana and pseudo removal. Sea uh, Dasher Octopus allows us to mutate onto one of our flyers and draws us some cards. So it's like the Curious Obsession style uh, effect. We have a lot of evasive creatures, so it's a good way to refill our hands. Winged Words draws us two cards for two mana uh, based on the deck being full of flyers. And then Safara allows us to pay one mana to cast a seven mana spell by tapping four flyers. Uh, mana base wise, pretty simple. Uh, you got your Hallowed Fountains, Temple of Enlightenment, some Castle Arden Veils, and then a bunch of basics. Um, I'm valuing the double color over just doing specific uh, Fable Passage. Um, they do come to play tapped, but we have a number of one drops. So even if we play a tap line on two after our untap, we're likely to play multiple spells. Uh, and this just allows us to play out, like we have a lot of double blues in our mana base, so we want to be able to play out. And if we do have to hard cast Safara, triple white is going to be kind of hard. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, so this deck list, it's more of an aggro. You want to be playing out like tempo-y. Um, some cards that we could consider as well are obviously Teferi. Uh, if we are seeing a lot of uh, flash decks, it's a good way to stop that. Um, you can also shift it by cutting some of like Hanged Executioner, probably the Safaras and then play it more of a tempo-y flash style deck. Uh, you can play stuff like Dovin's Veto, Mystical Dispute, uh, even something like Unsummon as like a tempo play uh, just to get blockers out of the way and you can kind of beat them down like that. Um, there could potentially be a Jeskai version where you play like Embercleave, but I think the mana would be a little stretched on that and there was quite a few good flyers that we already cut from this list. Um, so something like that that you can play out. Um, but it's probably where we're going to start off with the deck and see how it goes. Um, it's relatively cheap as well, I think. Uh, you got 4, 8, 12, are you rare? 12, 14, 16. Yeah, so it's probably about mid-budget. Um, these being like rare, uh, you do have a lot of uncommons, so it could be something if you have some of these cards hanging around that isn't too bad. Um, I will get the budget decks. I usually like waiting for the set to be fully released on Arena. It's easier for me to build when I have everything in the client. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's pretty much the deck list. Going to get this uploaded and uh, hopefully see you on Wednesday. Stay safe out there and have a great one.